This man was the runner-up at the Glory Heavyweight Slam one year ago. Here is Daniel Gita. The Savage Samurai, Romania's Daniel Gita. Enters the glory ring with a glory record of five and three, the number three ranked heavyweight in the promotion. I'm excited for this fight. There's there's bad blood between these guys, and it's a little clash of styles, you know. Gita's a very calm, cool, collective guy, precision with his low kicks. Very good switch kick, nice right hand, and, and Errol Zimmerman's kind of got a wide open game. Big punches, flying knees. This is going to be a tasty fight. Ariake Coliseum in Tokyo, Japan, site of Glory 13 as we go to the tail of the tape for this heavyweight attraction between the number three ranked Daniel the Savage Samurai Gita and the number seventh ranked Errol the Bone Crusher Zimmerman. Tail of the tape brought to you by the makers of Five Hour Energy. Well, Zimmerman is five years younger at only 27, but Gita has an 11 pound size advantage here in this fight. This is going to be a very physical fight, and that weight advantage could be big aspect of this fight of who's going to win. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner. This man has been knocking people out since 2001. He has amassed a career record of 101 wins, 10 losses, one bout scored even, 42 big knockouts. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters. He weighed in at 239 pounds, 108.6 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Curacao, here is Errol Bone Crusher Zimmerman. His opponent fights out of the white corner, a WKN European Thai box champion with a professional record of 49 wins and 10 losses, 38 big wins by knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.94 meters. He weighed in at an even 250 pounds, 113.6 kilos, fighting tonight out of Romania. He's ranked number three in the world. Here is Daniel, the Savage Samurai Gita. The man in charge of the glory ring is Al Wickers. Set for three three-minute rounds in the glory heavyweight division. Referee is Al Wickers. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. The bell at round one, Daniel Gita in the white gloves, Errol Zimmerman in the black gloves, a rematch. Back in 2010, Gita stopped Zimmerman the Anaka with a right hand, and they are off to the races. That left kick is a big factor right away. I think he rocked him with the first head kick. He's going to the body. Oh, left hook to the head by Gita. Another left hook. Zimmerman goes down. Mamma mia! What a shot! I think he hurt his leg when he got rocked. He fell back on his knee. I think his knee, this not only is he rocked, is the leg over. hurt. The Savage Samurai, Daniel Gita, very bitter at what transpired in the Glory 11 heavyweight tournament when he lost a majority decision to Rico Verhoeven in the final, just made a statement with this first round KO, the second knockout win over the boat crusher, Errol Zimmerman. Wow, you don't get paid for overtime in Glory, and Gita definitely proved that. He Here's a few looks at it again. Look at this highlight. Way back. Again, he started out with that good left leg. There's a hook. Again, he countered right off the right hand. Turned that left hand right over the chin. There's that knee injury, I believe, that happened. He fell back on that leg. You can see Errol grabbing his knee. Again, great counter hook. He dropped his knuckle right down on the chin to create that knockdown.
Daniel Gita delivers a KO for Christmas here at Glory 13 Tokyo. The official announcement in just a moment. Moro, I tell you, that's the beauty of the heavyweight division. You can't blink. There, something can always happen. Big guys deliver big hits and big KOs. That's what built this business here in Japan. It was the K1 heavyweights, and I feel like we had a flashback of K1's greatest hits here tonight. Gita wants rematches with Rico Verhoeven and Gokan Saki next year. He felt that 2013 wasn't his best year. He had personal issues in his private life, but uh, he says the issues are resolved. And boy, he resolved uh, this situation in a hurry. A first round KO over Errol Zimmerman. Yeah, that was sure some good therapy to his problems. He definitely solved a lot of problems tonight. Picks up his 50th career victory. And it's a memorable one as it's good to see Errol Zimmerman back on his feet. Again, we remind you to visit our website, GloryWorldSeries.com. You can find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Glory Sports International. On Twitter at Glory underscore WS. And you get exclusive video content on our YouTube channel. Search for Glory World Series on YouTube. I got to tell you, I love our YouTube channel. You can go watch all the best Glory Bites and more on there. Definitely, everyone, go out there, follow us on Twitter. We're all active, and that's a cool thing about all the athletes there interacting with you. Get out there and join us in the social media, gang. Glory 13 Tokyo, where Daniel the Savage Samurai Gita just recorded his 50th career win with a first round knockout. Let's make it official. Floyd Money Mayweather, man, he's becoming a huge Glory fan. We saw him in New York. He's made his uh, way to Land of the Rising Sun, sitting next to the Glory founder, the owner, Mr. Pierre Andorand, and of course, looking forward to the return of Money Mayweather on pay-per-view next May. And now to make it official, here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, if this bout comes to an end just 35 seconds into the very first round, and your winner, by knockout, Daniel Gita! <laughs> Gita garners his 39th win inside the distance. His second consecutive KO victory over the Bone Crusher. It's nice to see them share some. And here's our hot holiday moments. Good. Holiday cheer, if you will. That's a great inside kick followed by a head kick. And there was the left hook that ended the show. Again, nice left hook right over the guard and into the chin. Coming up, it's the final of the Glory Welterweight Tournament. $100,000 going to the victor. Will it be the number one ranked Nikki Holtzkin or the number two ranked Joseph Valtellina? We'll find out next.